Hello YouTubers and welcome to another episode here on the channel. Today we are touring Leander Club. We've been given permission to walk around and show you guys what it's like inside one of the oldest rowing clubs in the entire world. So we'll head in right behind me through the new gates here at Leander Club, just completed in 2018 for the 200th year anniversary. But as you can see now, a lot of things are going on behind me to prep for Henley Royal Regatta. So that's why there's still some tape in the way, there's chairs piled up over there. We'll get to touring that section later. And here, the first thing you'll walk through when you're walking into Leander Club for the Henley Royal Regatta is, if you can just imagine, the Leander Club shop. So this whole area will be lined with Leander sort of products that you can buy, but that's not what we're doing. We're doing a tour of the club. So this is the front door of the club and we head straight in now. And now we're through into the foyer here of Leander Club and dotted around the entire club as we'll see throughout the tour. There's little reminders of the hippo that the club is represented by and also little reminders of accomplishments of the athletes that have rode here, whether they're rowing here now or rode here previously. So this board in, uh, in particular is from the achievements of the athletes uh, all the way back from, 20, from now, from last year to 2013, including Olympic achievements, uh, Senior World Championship achievements, Paralympic achievements, Henley Royal Regatta achievements, and they're all there. So if you're in gold on this board, that means you've won that event, and if you're in black, you have not won that event, but you have participated. And so what we're going to do now, we're going to through, go through the boat bays and through the athletes area first, and then at, once we show you all of that, we're going to go through the club side of Leander Club, where usually during the, the Henley Royal Regatta, you need either a band for the athletes or a Leander badge that we spoke about in the Henley Royal Regatta Boat Tents Tour. So we'll head right this way first, right into the boat tents of Leander Club. So a lot of the boats and a lot of the oars, as you can see, are actually rented out to different athletes, different crews, different clubs, and also one of the boat bays themselves is used as a storage facility for some beverages for Henley Raw Regatta here at the Andrew Club. So, normally the boat bays are a lot more full, but today we have the quads, the fours, some doubles, pair in this boat bay here, and the boat bay next to us we have the eight that I will be rowing in this year in the ladies' plate this eight right here. But as you can see, there's there's oars dotted around which are being painted for Henley Raw Regatta. But all of these boats pretty much will be racing at the Regatta this year, so it's awesome to see all the boats that will actually be raced. And as we head outside onto the hard outside of Leander Club, we see again the tent, the preparations for the Regatta, but we'll get back to that once we get through the athlete area. So, from the boat bays, we head straight into the gym here at Leander Club, where we spend a lot of our training time during the winter. Into the gym itself, we have, where we spend the majority of our time in training off the water, the rowing machine. So we have plenty of those in the club to use off the water and improve our fitness. And one of the things in the gym as well, we have these clocks. As a reminder, we have so many Olympic athletes as Leander members. So we have clocks from London, Tokyo, and Rio, all at their different times. So that's pretty cool. Just a little reminder of what you can do as a Leander athlete, a Leander member, and the legacy that has been left for you to follow by other Leander members that have competed at the Olympic Games. But we have the ergs over here, and the weights room over here. So where we do a lot of not just biceps, not just triceps, we do some squats and etc. All of these sort of main exercises. But this, like I said, is where we spend a lot of our time during the winter or when the water gets particularly bad during the dark times of the year. But now 
where we also spend, so if we're not spending the time in here in the gym, where else would you spend your time but fueling up? Because remember, food is fuel. So from here, we head upstairs into the crew room to see where we do fuel up. And now we have made it to the crew room. So where we spend a lot of our time outside of training, fueling up and recovering between sessions here at the club. So buy our food on this machine here, order our food, and then we'll go get it from the kitchen, which we'll hopefully see a little bit of. But this is the crew room itself, where someone has been watching some rowing, some Olympic finals of the Olympic Games in Rio over there. But like I said, this is where we do spend a lot of our time. And right here, we have some, cal some diets for a heavyweight man and some diets for a heavyweight woman or lightweight men. Just a little quick look at that. Your total calories for heavyweight man, 6,230 on there. And then the total calories for a heavyweight woman or a lightweight man, 4,545. So that's a lot of calories and we have the, we get to eat that much because we get to train so much for rowing as a sport. So if you're doing three sessions in a day, roughly an hour and a half to two hours of exercise per session, then you need a lot of fuel to be able to handle that amount of training. And where is that fuel created? Let's head into the kitchen and see if we're allowed to see where the fuel is made. But before we go in to see where the fuel is created to fuel us up for all of those sessions, I want to just show you this wall here. So this wall is created from newspaper articles, newspaper clippings from the 2012 Olympic Games, from all of the successes that were had during that month period. So, or inspiring Matthew Pinson revitalized Britain turned tight at a stroke. British duo turn up the heat on gold medal rivals, but this whole wall is just full of just positivity that was the energy that's created during the Olympics in 2012 in London. But now we're gonna have a little quick peek into the kitchen to where the fuel is made. But like I said, there's a lot of work going on for Henley Royal Regatta. So a lot of things been moving, moved around. And so here we have the kitchen, the lads behind us and Ladette somewhere as well, making the food to fuel us up for the session and eating some flapjack, some great fuel. But that is, that's just a sneak peek of the kitchen because I don't think I've actually ever put the kitchen on the video. But now, since we've seen the athlete area, we're going to head upstairs into the club area of Leander Club. As I mentioned before, there is reminders dotted around the club from the successes that athletes have had. So on, and on these walls here, you have successes of the pictures of the athletes themselves. So Henley winners, world championship medalists, and all that as well. But we have a picture of the lads from the 2016 eight at the Henley Royal Regatta. He looks like a great guy right there, but like I said, the club really celebrates the successes of their athletes and this is just one example of how they do so. So now we get to head into the club side of the club and what we'll see first is the bedrooms. We're not allowed into the bedrooms themselves but the bedrooms of the clubs all have different names. So this one Shrewsbury, this one St Edwards and you can see at the top different oars of the clubs themselves. And that's all for different reasons. Maybe the members of those clubs wanted to have a special place to stay here at Leander Club. Or maybe, for example, Kent, there's a Kent School bedroom over here where the members or the coaches of Kent School where, and Leander Club are tied in for way back, a long time back. But we'll head straight this way where we go to the Leander Library. So we've made it into the Leander Library, a lovely place for us to chill out, relax, always a very quiet place. The walls lined with books, many are donated by members, many are rowing related. But like I said, it is a place to come and chill out, relax and have just time if you wanted to yourself or time to do some work outside of training. 
And up the top here as well, we have different blades reminding us again of successes of past Leander athletes. But for example, this blade itself is to celebrate the winners of the Grand Challenge Cup at the Henley Royal Regatta in 1891. So that is over 100 years ago that this, that Leander won the Grand. And again, it's a celebration of that success. But we'll walk around more of the club side of things and then go to my favorite part of the club before we get to the outside and talk about the preps for Henley Royal Regatta. And as we walk through the corridor here, we have different presidents of the Leander Club here lining the walls. So up the top, the most recent presidents and down the bottom, the oldest presidents. And at the bottom here, scale model of HMS Leander, an awesome boat named after, or possibly named after Leander Club. But here is my favorite part of the club itself. Like I keep saying, around the club are reminders of successes of previous athletes, and this is probably the biggest reminder here. It is of the Olympic successes of the athletes here at Leander Club. So, well, I think on top of the successes of Leander Club, my favorite part here is, if you just look at the names, you have Mr. C.D. Burnell here in 1908 in London in the men's eight, and then you have in 1948, men's double, a Burnell again, so a father and son race 40 years apart at two different Olympics, which even that I think is absolutely amazing. And another amazing thing, if you look at the coaches through, through the time here at Leander Club, you have Mr. Jürgen Grobler, that was 1992, and then every single Olympic since then, he's won a gold medal all the way to 2016. So here's fingers crossed for 2020. But before we head into the dining room here at Leander Club, we've got some amazing pictures to remind us again of the successes of Leander members. So Redgrave, St. Pinsent there, winning their medals at different Olympic Games. And again, more reminders of members who have won in their different categories. Along the top, you have their boats and different boat classes and the years they won in those different events. And they go all the way back at the very top corner there. We have a 1926 and it goes way, way back as well. So not only like we're celebrating throughout the club that athletes past and athletes present, but it just shows you how far back the athletes history here at Leander Club in rowing really stretches. But now we'll head into the dining room here at Leander Club, which is currently being set up for many different events for Henley Royal Regatta, which is next week. But here, a highlight of the dining room at Leander Club is the trophy cases, and front and center here is the Cork Regatta International Cup, won by Leander Club in 1903. Again, the club celebrates the history and it's celebrating the current athletes as well, so it's an amazing place to be. But now, like I said, the club is preparing for the biggest party of the year, the biggest event of the year, Henley Royal Regatta. So we will head downstairs to look around outside in the, the tents that have been set up that are actually additional to the club and aren't there during most of the year. So let's head through. And down here, like I said, so much is being done to prepare for Henley Raw Regatta. And this entire tent, even around the tree, and all of these chairs, all of this decking is added for the regatta itself. But all of it will be where people can spend time with their family, with their friends, and enjoy themselves during Henley Royal Regatta itself. 
But that will be it for today's tour. Hopefully you enjoyed another one here on the channel. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other questions about Leander Club. If I don't know the answer, then of course I will try and figure it out for you and ask one of the members here. But now it's time to go chill out on the balcony here to my left, to your right. Enjoy a little bit more recovery. Enjoy the sun on this lovely day and the view of the river as everyone is pre preparing for Henley Raw Regatta itself. And as always, remember to subscribe if you haven't already, hit that like button and have a good one.